I just stung myself with venomous caterpillars. That's why my arms look like this. I wish I was kidding. These are the effects of the venom of Altamera's caterpillars on my arms. And if you're curious about how and why, then stay tuned. Today is the day that we have been waiting for. Because I'm going to sting myself with venomous caterpillars. So here's my beautiful and muscular arm. Yeah, I know it's very hot, but um, that's not the purpose of it. I'm letting my larva walk free range now because I'm going to sting myself with them and I need to brush my arm against them very briefly. The spines on their backs, as you can see, these spines are toxic and if you touch them, they will inject you with uh, an urticating kind of venom and uh, the effect should be a little bit painful but not too bad oh yeah and one disclaimer don't try this at home I'm an entomologist and I've studied these moths for, for a long time I know what I'm doing but I don't think, I don't think the average person uh, knows as much about these caterpillars as I do so if you're out there in the jungle and uh, this gave you a good idea to gather YouTube views to um, to exploit your masochistic side don't do it because in South America yeah you have larvae that can be deadly actually and I don't want anybody to copy me and die actually actually that would be pretty cool if that happened but I'll pretend that I'm concerned about all of you uh, about the health of all of you though it would be an interesting case because not uh, there are not many case reports on that all right let's start rambling here like a mad scientist and sting myself so i'm gonna brush my arm briefly on the spines of these ouch yeah i can feel it burning already it's a kind of strange sensation it feels like a stinging nettle a common stinging nettle i'm just very gently rubbing over them but it's i'm already feeling it let's oh my god it's already here it's already starting as you can see, oh, oopsie doopsie, there are bumps covering my arms already. And that's just one minute in because the effect will worsen. I'm feeling it burn. It feels like uh, uh, alcohol is being poured over me. Well, it looks like one caterpillar decided to poop. It looks like, uh, it feels very warm, like, you don't know. It feels like alcohol is being poured over an open wound or something. I know that's a strange description. But um, and here's one word about the moths. They are uh, caterpillars of an Automeris species from Costa Rica in uh, Central America. And Automeris can be very common in tropical uh, in the Americas. At least they are, uh, they are restrained to the content of America. And they're pretty, pretty cute moths that uh, I study on a professional level. And I like to breed them, but also study their life cycles and uh, discover the unknown life cycles of some Altimeris moth. If you look at my YouTube channel, you'll see I have some, I'm working on some scientific publications. And I'm also breeding a lot of these currently in the Netherlands. The Netherlands is in Europe. That means they are one continent apart from their original home. So let's check, oh my god, yeah that's very noticeable, wow, wow, this is what's called contact urticaria guys, it's the same thing that happens when you touch a stinging nettle, it's an, an, an immune response, they are kind of, uh, well they aren't blisters but just uh, and bumps in the skin, I think it's related to histamine this reaction though I could be talking uh, nonsense right now so for the purpose of this video here is my arm as you can see my arm is just fine and now I'm going to attempt to sting myself on the wrist with these caterpillars I've put them here in the grass and I'm just quickly going to rub my arm over the spines I can definitely feel it urticating right now it's a stingy kind of sensation, but it's, it is bearable. 
I'm squishing it a little bit on my behind my arm. Oh god, here you can see the effects already. It's starting to burn now. Yeah, it's a painful sensation, but not extremely painful. But enough to bother me a little bit. It's like a stinging nettle. You can definitely feel some kind of uh, warm and hot sensation going on here. And there was a quick response. I didn't expect it to be this quick. If we wait a few minutes, maybe we'll see the condition worsen. Or we'll take the time to talk about these beautiful animals. Of course, I don't want to exploit their scary side for views. Because guys, these caterpillars are, if you don't touch them, they're quite harmless. Of course, that sounds quite obvious. But they are very slow and uh, often hidden in trees. So there's usually not, uh, unless you are very unlucky, there's not a lot of reason you will come into contact with them. Usually they uh, stay, uh, stay away from humans. Only when they are pupating, they may wander uh, for a few... Uh, for a few uh, meters and that's when people can encounter them in the wild or when people are walking through shrubs and bushes and if you live in South America and you're unlucky enough to find uh, to you know to brush against the vegetation where one of them is resting so here's my arm right now you can see some um, little bit nasty uh, bumps and spots it's called contact urticaria so let's collect some of my larvae from the grass because they're wandering away and check back in a few minutes. So for a small uh, aftermath video right now, let's show some after effects. This is what my left arm looks like right now. The pain has, uh, has gone, the pain was only very quick and for a few minutes. But it seems the bumps have, uh, are lingering for a longer time. And that's uh, just the allergic skin reaction. So let's take a look at my other arm. Looks like this arm was more heavily affected. I think it took a larger dose of venom. And um, from overall on the pain scale, I'd rate it a 4 out of 10. Because yeah, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel a little bit painful. But it's tolerable and not excruciating. It's more kind of an annoyance, really. So it's not as bad as it looks, but it's still kind of bad, you know. I rate the pain a 4 out of 10. It's time for the stars of the show today to go home. And back to their family, where they can feed on oak tree. In this container I'm currently rearing all of them. And as you can see there's many more in there. Even a few small ones. Let's try and get a clear shot of this. My camera has a little bit of trouble. Oh there we go, that's a little bit sharper. And I'm an entomologist who studies these species on an, an amateur level but also on professional level. And I'm interested in their toxicology, that means their venom basically. As you can see there are many of them in here fitting on oak tree. The box looks large because so uh, it doesn't look like they are money but if we take a closer look you'll see the branches are covered with them. But I'll leave them for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because I'm going to do this more often. Why? Because I'm interested in the toxicology and the effects of these caterpillars. Don't try this yourself, at least not without studying the subject because you don't want to try this accidentally with a deadly species by the way. And yes, this can be dangerous to people with allergies, so it's not something that everybody can take. So I will be your perfect YouTube dummy for this. Thank you for watching.